Hi there, and welcome to Clean Eating with Claudia and Hasfit. Today, I'm going to show you two ways to make a basic cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice is a great alternative to regular rice because it's low in calories and low in carbohydrates. Don't worry about writing down any of the ingredients or directions. Just do me a favor and click on this link that's available in the video description. That's sends you to hasfit.com where we have everything ready to go for you. Let's get started on our rice. To get started with your cauliflower rice, we need none other than a head of cauliflower. So in order for us to get the florets removed, I've already pre-rinsed this. So I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna go straight down the middle. So I'm gonna turn it here so I can see it. Just make sure you have a good knife to drive it through. Once you do that, then you can just crack it open and you can see the core more easily. So now I'm just gonna take the same knife and it comes right off. So you can just move this and then you can kind of just pick the rest of the leaves. You may need to do a little bit more coring here, such as right here. And you can just yank it off. So then you'll just peel the rest of the florets so that they look like this. You can just take them off one by one or you can continue to cut it. Now you will have to cut it again so that they can fit into your food processor. And that's it. And then you'll just repeat the process for the other side. Now I'm gonna cut my florets so that they're more manageable for my food processor. So I've chopped up my cauliflower and now I'm just going to place it into my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, just be sure that you're using a high powered blender so that you get the rice-like consistency that you're looking for. And I'll show you what this looks like when it's all blended up. And this is the consistency of your cauliflower once you've blended it in your food processor. Now there are two ways to cook cauliflower rice. And the first way is in the microwave. To cook your cauliflower rice in the microwave does give it more of a steam consistency. I did place one tablespoon of water directly into the bowl with my cauliflower, and I'm going to pop this into the microwave for approximately six to seven minutes or until it's steamed through. And once we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and show you how this is done on the skillet. Okay, so let's start on a dry fry for our cauliflower rice. So the goal is to remove as much of the moisture out of the cauliflower rice as possible. I have a skillet that's been on medium high heat and I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of coconut oil or you can just do a nonstick cooking spray and just coat the bottom of your pan as much as you can. And then we're gonna take our cauliflower rice and we're gonna add it into the skillet here. And we're just gonna stir and mix this for about four to five minutes. So my cauliflower rice is all set here. You will know that your cauliflower rice is done when it's no longer the hard raw form, but it is more of a softer rice-like consistency. Cauliflower rice is a great grain-free and low-carb option in your recipes that may usually call for rice because you can add whatever flavor you like. If you enjoyed this recipe, please be sure to check out my blog on Hasfit's website. There you'll find additional recipes. You'll also find hundreds of free workout videos, meal plans to lose or gain weight, and our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. Do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook for the best daily motivation. This has been Clean Eating with Claudia and Hasfit, and remember to eat clean and train dirty.